back, our next guest enjoys cooking up recipes that are featured in her award-winning novels. Wendy Palumbo's family Sunday sauce was inspired by one of her close friends, and she recently stopped by and showed Jessica how it's made. She was the 2016 Maryland Writers Association contest winner and the acclaimed author of the Rosalie Hart mystery series set on Maryland's eastern shore. The third book in the Rosalie Hart series is going to feature secret family recipes, including the one she's going to make for us today. We welcome Wendy Sand Echo back to Virginia this morning. Wendy, it's great to see you. Thanks for having me back. These books are delightful. I drooled all over them the last time you were with us. And it's so fun because they're of this genre, the, the cozy mystery. So they just kind of envelop you. And then there's food. And then there's food. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it is a genre. It, it, there are mysteries and there is a murder, but the murder happens off scene. They're not violent. There's not a lot of profanity, that kind of thing. So it's, it's an easy read. And, and Rosalie finds her calm, finds her centering by getting into the kitchen and making these delicious re recipes, which you include in the book. I do. There are Many recipes in the back of each book. There are recipes on my website, um, additional recipes. And yes, she, uh, cooking is a way for her to nurture the people she loves. And so she ends up opening a cafe. And, um, and that's just her thing, is nurturing others. Well, you've got a recipe for us today to help nurture those we love right here in the Virginia This Morning Kitchen. What are we making? Okay, my, what I'm doing with the third book, and I don't have a pub date for that yet, but I'm, I'm working on it very hard, is I'm trying to get secret family recipes because I grew up in a small town in Ohio, and not a lot of ethnicity, and I'm always craving really good ethnic food. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I begged and pleaded for my dear friend Carla Palumbo to give me her Italian red sauce recipe. And so she did. And what I didn't realize is it's very complicated. It, she <laughs> calls it <laughs> the Palumbo family Sunday sauce. Okay. And um, Carla goes over to Italy at least twice a year to be with her family. There's a picture of, of Carla in Italy mm -hmm. with all her family members. There and she so is. she is an authentic Italian cook. Um, okay. So this is a red sauce, mm -hmm. and can I take this off? Yes, and It's please. already the, the oh, smell yeah. is just so wonderful. So this is where we're working. This is what we're working to make. Exactly. Okay. So as Carla um, distinguishes marinara from um, a meat red sauce because a marinara sauce is quick, is easy to make. It's quick, uh, has a lot of spices, whereas this is has very few spices, and it takes almost three hours to cook. Wow. And you start by you put some onions in some olive oil mm -hmm. and you saute them, but then you take the onions out. Okay. And then there are two neck bones in here. You've got a mixture of pork and beef and, and then some Italian sausage. You saute all that up and then you add the pureed tomatoes. And so you do that right away. And in the meantime, she, she does this. She, it's, it starts with brassiole. I didn't bring the... Bra the brassioli? Yeah, okay. it's, an, it's an Italian beef. Okay. But it's uncooked, so I just brought these so I could demonstrate what you do. And now this just fascinated me. So you take one of these, and here's yours. Okay. And you can start with the cheese. Cheese. Mm -hmm. And just put a little dollop. Put a little dollop in the middle. All right. Then you add a little piece of bacon. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. And then forgot a to share. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then a little hard-boiled egg. Okay. How's it all going to fit in here? I know. A little parsley. Look and it's this. crazy, but these go in the sauce. So wait, this pocket of awesome goes in the sauce. Goes in the sauce. All right, and one little clove of garlic. All right. Oops. Yeah, I know. It's messy. Well, it's fun. Just look <laughs> at the, you know, I know why Rosalie gets into the kitchen yeah. because she has to concentrate and it's like it's like crafting and food my two favorite things exactly. come together exactly so i'm just you're gonna roll it oh, up oh i made a pocket oh that's, that's not fine right. no that's fine it might not yours probably won't spill out as easily oh. as mine all right so so then you have these <clears throat> and after the sauce is cooked for about an hour mm -hmm. you make these and you put them in the sauce you just let them do their thing they're in, in there? there for at least an hour they simmer with everything else and if you look you can see oh there's also meatballs in here okay you, i you see make meatballs homemade see meatballs mm -hmm. oh sorry it's spattering on it you. is there you go that's <laughs> and here's the um i'll turn it down a little with a bit. chance of meatballs <laughs> spattering on you we'll okay. turn it down a little bit and then if you reach in there you'll also see one of the neck bones 
Okay. It's like a fishing expedition. Yeah, there that it is. That looks, looks like a pork chop. <laughs> That's a neck bone? It's a neck bone, but it has meat on it. Carla says you put that on the plate, and then you eat the meat from the neck bone. Oh, yum. And then, I don't know if you'll find one of the pockets in there, but there's also a pocket in well, there. Well, I'm going to keep looking, and then I'm going to look for some pasta, and then I'm going to make it, and I will be looking for this next new book out. You said you didn't have a publishing date yet, but we'll... We will keep our eye on you, Wendy. Thanks okay, for being great. back with us. And, and if anyone has a family recipe they want to share, you can message me on my website. Oh, that'd be awesome. And yeah. then do you, you'll make it into the book, if, maybe? If you'll let me be, put, put it in the book, I'll do it. Well, you so. heard it here first. Wendy, thanks for being back Thank with us. Thank you for us. having me. Always great to have you here. We hope to see you when the new novel comes out. You know we'll be staying right on top of you.